Chevelle, Send the Pain Below, Guitar Lesson with Guitar Tabs. Let's play through all the different sections of the song right at the start here, and after that, I'll go back through and give you some explanation on what's happening. Before we jump into the song, please hit that subscription button. It gives me a good clue that you like these videos, and I should do more. Now let's get on into the lesson. <laughs> So for starters, we're in a drop B tuning, all right? So at the top here, we'll start with B, F sharp, B, E, A sharp, D. Not really gonna use the uh, couple high strings here. We're just pretty much, you know, the bottom four that we're worrying about with this song. But yeah, that's the tuning. All right, so just get that nice open B power chord there. And for starters, we'll just come right into the main riff. And this riff right here is good for, you know, the intro, the chorus, and, you know, the latter half of the verse, um, which you might call the pre-chorus. But um, it's just a matter of, you know, having it clean or heavy, like the dynamic of it. So for starters, we'll come all the way up here, and we're going to hit the open low B, and then just this high voiced chord here, which is just 12 on the second and third string with the 14 on the fourth string. Okay. And from there, we move down. We just do nines on the uh, bottom three here and just add that 11 on the fourth string here. Next, we come off, back off to the open low B and we keep that nine on the second string here and the 11, all right? And we just kind of negate the, the middle string here. And then finally we land on fives and keep the seven on the fourth string here. The first verse gets going and we're just coming off of that big open power chord there. So that just rings out. And then we hit just one single little strum of the open low B, the nine and the 11. We let that ring. And that's just kind of a exclusive verse one thing that happens there. And then we move to this where we're going to do the nine and 11 octave thing there at the second and fourth string. Just messing with those really. The bass is kind of filling in the shift over the top of it. And at that point, we slide down to a seven and nine. And then we just get back, back to that and just repeat that for the remainder of the uh, first section of the verse. And like I said, once we get to the second part of the verse, which you might call this the pre-chorus, um, we're basically just doing that main riff. It's just a clean tone. new riff into the interlude here and it starts off clean and it's just working with some like power chords here we drop down to the opens all right we just hammer that on the twos and then strum out a handful of twos come back off to the open then we slide the twos to fives hit those a few times 
and initially we come back off to a few open strums. Go through the whole first section all the way up to the fives. And this time instead of leaving off on the opens, we shift down to fours. Alright, now the bridge section gets heavy and it's pretty much the same riff that's happening there. But then we add this little bit at the end where we just drop down to a second fret on that low B and we just kind of trem pick it. Alright, it sounds cool if you give it maybe a little bit of a bend there, just kind of a little dissonant. 